Hello Cancer, Elsie here to do your reading. It is for the month of April, my friend. So we're going to take an overview. We're going to take an overview look of April for you. And uh, let's take a look at that here. Thank you for stopping in here. Whether you are brand new or you are always here, my ride or dies, clicking and, and being in the comments and your thumbs up really count as, as we grow this Cancer tribe here. Y'all are doing such a great job. Thank you for that. If you're brand new, I hope you'll be in the comments. Some of us like to be there. Let me know that you're there. I'd love to greet you. All right, let's find out what's going on in April for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, April of 2024. We're going to do a nine-card draw, the first two cards out. First one is the energy you arrive in the, in the month of April with, and then the theme for the overall theme for the month. So you arrive with your intuition intact. I like it. So you are the high priestess, my friend. You are somebody who is more psychic than you realize. I feel like your intuition is on high. The overall theme for the month here is uh, accelerated motion. So your intuition is on high. So you're making good decisions based on your intuition, on your gut feelings, right? And I feel like uh, th the month of April is about to speed up. So I want to say that if you've been in a place where things have been kind of dull and not really moving and nothing really happening, I feel like with, this is the eight of wands for me. Um, the accelerated motion tells me that something is about to arrive Possibly. It feels like there's a shooting star, like maybe it's a lucky month for you here. Um, what will you accomplish in the month of April? What you will accomplish is you will get over this conflict and defeat. I feel like when things are moving forward here, you will accomplish... Um, what you will accomplish is getting over this energy. This person here is stumbling, right? I want to say that... Um, Feeling defeated and having conflict in your life is something that is about to come to an end. Um, I want to say that maybe where you were in the month of March, it wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, light or you couldn't really see things very clearly. It's almost like the light was at your back. It's like the sun was at your back and I feel like the sun is going to move to end up being in front of you here. It's going to give you uh, more... Um, it's going to give you some more uh, energy or uh, some more clarity uh, of, of ways to get out of the conflict and defeat here. What to avoid in the month of April? What to avoid is emotional withdrawal. Um, and Cancer, you and I both know that that's you. When things go wrong in your life, maybe you just sort of withdraw. It always, always depends on what's in your moon and your rising. But it feels like it's it's time for you to come out from under, under your emotions, I want to say. If you are a person who has been dealing with con the conflict and defeat, you might be a little bit emotionally withdrawn. And um, this is what you should be avoiding in this month. What should you embrace? Oh, there we go. You should embrace that you are the emperor, that you are the authority on something here. We will come back and clarify all of these, of course. What are the obstacles you will face in this month? Obstacles that you will face is, <laughs> is rejoice and celebration. Look, it's about going out, taking advantage of, you know, when people ask you out um, to go into groups of people because you're feeling emotionally, with, emotionally withdrawn, right? And I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at this emotional withdrawal. I was kind of thinking that this is, this is something that you need to get over. You need to show people who you are with your stability. You're the authority. Walk into a room and take up space is what I think. And then all of a sudden this comes out as... Um, as uh, the obstacle that you'll face and that is getting back in touch with people because you've been emo emotionally withdrawn I think here and uh, where can you find support you will find support in the waiting game very interesting so don't make any quick moves right it feels like you should think about things um, and uh, what actions do you need to take this month uh, you need to get out of your head, my friend. It's going to be imperative, I think. What's the advice and encouragement from the universe for cancer, please? We do have the heart chakra. Okay. Okay. So I feel like the universe is, is making you open up a little bit. By making things move in the right direction, I feel like you're going to gain some confidence. I feel like once you overcome this conflict and defeat, you're going to gain some confidence and people are going to see you as stable and secure and someone who's in charge of things. And 
I feel like the heart chakra, I, the first thing I heard was Madonna saying, open your heart to me. So there might be a specific person you're thinking about that you want to open up to. Uh, bottom of the deck, the overall energy here is a spiritual union. So I feel like I'm kind of on point with that. This is green energy as well, which is the heart chakra energy. And um, it feels like that's the, the overall energy for the month here. Let's get a little bit more energy from the, from the Journey's Oracle. Tell me about this, please. Need some overall energy for the month. We've got health. So maybe you're feeling healthier. Maybe you've been taking care of your health. Um, it says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And then we have perseverance. Um, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. So I feel like somebody has some health goals in mind. You have some health goals in mind. I feel like it's time to take care of you. And um, maybe that's why you're emerging looking looking all buff. <laughs> maybe that's why you're emerging looking really good. So whether you're feminine or masculine, right? Like the, the emperor is a, a masculine leaning energy, but also has feminine energy as we all do, all people do, right? And uh, bottom of the deck, growth. I like it. That's that's what I was saying here. I feel like once you come out of this, you, you get over this emotional withdrawal. I think that you were in this emotional withdrawal while you're taking care of your health, your mental health, your physical health. And then we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness all right we'll leave this right here all right so we have a new clarifying deck to introduce you to that i think it's called i'm trying to decide how to say it um idols maybe idols tarot i'm not really sure but uh, nonetheless we are going to use that for our clarifying deck today tell me about what's coming up for cancer please the info or the the energy that you're bringing into april cancer is your intuition tell me about um the intuition please what does cancer need to know about the energy arriving with is the intuition what does cancer need to know about the star in the reverse what else do we need to know one more thank you so we've got the star in the reverse here aquarius energy we've got the five of wands in the reverse and we have the wheel of fortune in the reverse so i feel like you're coming out of a a place in time here where things have, are were a little bit tough i want to say march was probably a tough a tough month for you it feels because the five of wands being in the reverse tells me that you no longer are beating yourself up which tells me that you were in the past and that in the past you were probably also losing hope beating yourself up feeling like things were going nowhere nothing was changing i don't know what to do why aren't things changing for me it feels like the the wheel of fortune in the reverse is telling me that there is um that there is is change that will come but it's it feels like it was a, a tough month of march of a lot of stagnancy and nothing was moving forward like you wanted it to but i think your intuition is telling you that the month of april is going to be better that there is going to be movement here tell me about the accelerated motion please we do have the queen of wands there we go we do have the king of pentacles good and we do have the uh, four of cups so i want to say that you're going from being stagnant and silent and quiet and nothing going down to things moving really quickly the four of cups is here i feel like the four of cups there's always a purpose for for all of the cards and i feel like we all need to be in the four of cups for a bit i want to say that there are that there are opportunities coming up this month that you may have missed last month or that you may maybe you that wasn't your focus you weren't looking for opportunities in love but i feel like with the king of pentacles here and the queen of wands the accelerated motion tells me you're going to get whatever it is that you want so the queen of wands is the one that never backs down from a challenge right i feel like you are independent so that tells me that for some of you you might be single um we have the king of pentacles which tells me that the accelerated motion is coming that you're you're uh, going to get your bag is what I think is you're, you're going to get your money. Yeah, something is going to an opportunity is going to present itself to you that is going to be an opportunity for you to become financially stable. And maybe you are already. Maybe you do have Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Maybe you have Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy in your chart. But I do feel like 
the Queen of Wands is telling me that you're going to not stop until you get your stability. Now, I feel like that there is some sort of an opportunity here. And I'm going to say that, you know, whatever opportunity it is, uh, you know, whatever's meant for you will never pass you by. It does show here that somebody is not really looking in the place of the opportunity but it's a cup that's being handed here so i feel like you're not really interested in a love relationship at this time we've got um conflict and defeat is bringing up the nine of swords and justice i like it because when i put it down i said i feel like you're overcoming it this month and justice tells me with the nine of swords that you are overcoming it because justice carries a sword and the nine of swords is here which tells me it's the end of a hard cycle so by about the middle of the month here cancer i do believe that you realize that things are about to get a little bit easier or they start to feel less conflicted um, you start to feel more successful and less defeated and it's because justice is here we do have the page of pentacles so there is something an opportunity that you will come across in the month of april i feel that is going to give you some sort of uh, truth karmic balance and pull you out of a cycle of doubt of not being able to sleep of not being able to make a decision the Nine of Swords to me is um, somebody gets stuck in the Nine of Swords because they're unwilling to change. Uh, they're unwilling to take the steps they need to take in order to change their mind. And I feel like the step you took or you will take in the month of April is that you decide that you got to get everything balanced. And I feel it's your money. I feel it's your energy. I feel like because you do that, I feel like there are some opportunities or at least one opportunity coming to you here. And it's going to pull you out out of this place of emotional withdrawal tell me about the emotional withdrawal please for cancer sun moon rising venus and jupiter april 2024 we do have the three of wands we have the death card okay and we do have the queen of cups there it is it just said exactly what i said the death card tells me what's coming to an end is the emotional withdrawal and the queen of cups is telling me that now your feelings are a little bit on the surface i want to say that um with the three of wands here that maybe you have been kind of just giving yourself some space and some time to wait for it, which is what I really love. You were waiting for the transformation, for the transformational moment where you decided that you wanted to get up and share your energy with other people, right? The Queen of Wands is here, and that is your energy, right? Um, so it feels like you allow people to see you on the surface for who you are or you do. I want to say you had been submerged and I feel like you are getting some stability in your emotions and you are... Um, you, you were patiently waiting for that. And I feel like death is here for the transformation of the Queen of Cups. And so I feel like you are ready now to share your feelings. Maybe you have a cup of love available. Um, tell me why the Emperor is here, please. This is what you should embrace. So you should embrace, um, I feel like, standing standing up as the first person in your life, getting it all together, taking charge of everything, getting your stability, which we see up here, getting your emotions in check here. And because, you know, the King of Cups is also the Emperor, and so it does feel like you are definitely getting your emotions in check. Tell me, um, tell me about uh, why Cancer should embrace the, the Emperor energy. We have the magician because you have all the tools that you need. You have all the wealth. Like as we're going through here, right, you have the gecko, uh, you have the wealth, you have the emotion here, and uh, you do have now the magician. The magician with the ten of pentacles. Look, it feels like you are taking charge of something. It could be a business. It could be that you're going to be hired into a position that um, maybe you've always wanted or gives you a lot of, um, it gives you, it gives you the ability to be able to teach people everything you've learned. I feel like you're a soul who's been through a lot. And so it feels like you've accumulated a lot of wisdom. And when you stand up as the emperor, the one thing we need to rem remember about the emperor is that the emperor is solid and stable because of all of the energy of all the kings, because of all the wisdom. So I feel like 
You are the emperor who knows they have all of the tools, who knows that the universe is looking out for them. And the Ten of Pentacles is here. Ultimate abundance, I feel, is what is here for you. And that's what you should embrace, that you deserve it. I feel like you are going to come in touch with the um, the student and you are the teacher because you've been through so much, you've accumulated a lot of wisdom and I feel like you're going to be teaching other people about what you know, about all the tools and how you gained them and where you got them from and how to use them and it's a ten of pentacles thing. I feel like someone is willing to pay you an awful lot of money to be the person who teaches the other people in their establishment, in their business. Maybe you are in a business and maybe you are a teacher. Um, maybe you are a, a life coach or a business coach, but it feels like you are um, whatever this page of swords is bringing, ideas, um, the willingness to learn is going to end you. with. It's going to end up that you're going to be in the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is a money-making venture. That's what it feels like here. That there is an opportunity for you to make a lot of money uh, teaching people what you know because of all of the trials that you've been through. That's what it feels like here. So we do have this card here. Um, what obstacles will you face? It, you know what I think the biggest obstacle you're going to face is being out front. Now, unless you have some crazy fire in the moon and the rising sign, Cancer doesn't necessarily want to be out front. You like to be the business owner and like to be in control, but I don't feel that you necessarily are, are wanting to be out front. I feel like people want to celebrate you because of I mean, you've you've overcome a lot to become the emperor. That's what it feels like to me. And it feels like people want to celebrate you. I think you should allow them to. Um, tell me about rejoice and celebration here. We have, yeah, the sun. There we go. People see you for who you are. And I feel like they are, they are celebrating um, the clarity that you give them. It's like this group of people that you're teaching, uh, I feel like this this group of people, um, they are they are people who you are teaching. You are teaching these people to be really patient with themselves and that they must pick a path. They have to pick a path, but they need to do it slowly and they need to make sure that they throw their seeds of intention. It's like you're the leader and they're following and you're showing them how to become an emperor. That's what it feels like here. The sun is Leo. We have the lovers, which is um, which is uh, Gemini, Gemini energy. Yeah. And I feel like it's your choice. It's your choice to allow these people to celebrate you. But I feel like you hesitate. I don't think that you like to have the spotlight. The authority or the emperor doesn't necessarily have to have the spotlight. They are the person who makes everything, all the decisions, and makes everything work under the surface. So I feel like you're going to allow somebody here, uh, a group of people possibly, to celebrate you. And it's been a long time coming. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to suggest that maybe you're going to choose to allow this here. To allow people to celebrate you, even though I don't feel like you really want the spotlight. We have, uh, where do you find support in the waiting game, my friend? Taking everything slow, going over details, and not moving really quickly toward whatever it is that you feel um, that you're wanting next. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands and the Chariot. Look, you are racing toward the finish line here. You are racing toward victory. We've got two cards of victory. You getting a lot of a lot of uh, credit. A lot of people are noticing you. A lot of people are cheering you on and seeing you because look at that guy. Look at that emperor here. <laughs> this person here is somebody who has reached a place where they're very happy and they're not scared to show it. I want to say that you've had... Um, in, in becoming the emperor that you've realized that you need to balance your energies, right? Feminine and masculine. And so that's what these two sphinxes are, right? We've got two different colored sphinxes here. It's the masculine and the feminine energy. I want to say by the end of the month, you have such great balance and we have new opportunities coming in. Maybe someone wants you to speak at their establishment. Someone probably wants to pay you a lot of money 
Something brand new is coming up here that's going to be very lucrative and it might have to do with the clarity that you offer, the honesty and truth and clarity that you offer, the triumphant success that you've had, I feel is going to turn into the ace, uh, turn the ace of pentacles into much more. You are headed for really big victory this month here, um, Cancer. I feel like your, your victories are going to be financial, they're going to be emotional, and I feel like it's all because you have so much tenacity that you're just never going to stop you just keep going um what actions do you need to take this month i think it's like the mental conflict is like staying out of your head um making sure that uh, you're making decisions rather than ignoring making decisions in a blocked energy here we do have the seven of cups we have the hermit and we have the empress energy here I want to say that there is somebody here that you've been quiet with and it's only because it's emotional over emotionally overwhelming to deal with the situation. The mental conflict that you're in is of an emotional nature. The seven of cups in the upright tells me that you are trying to find an answer as you go within the self here. You're trying to find an answer to your emotional state. It feels like there is so much for, for you to pick from. I want to say all of the options, but it's overwhelming and it's emotional. And I feel like there is a the hermit energy here that tells me that you go within and don't stay there too long. I think that's where the mental conflict comes in here. I feel like you're having a hard time making a decision about the empress because I feel like you've been quiet with the empress and I feel the empress really touches every emotion that you have. I feel like you've been emotionally, mentally blocked from the empress here. That's what it feels like. Tell me about this heart chakra. I think your heart chakra is opening right at the end of the month, my friend. I feel like you're going to be ready to let somebody into your emotional self here because there is a spiritual union that is coming up here. Tell me about the heart chakra, please. We have... Yeah, it's the moment of alchemy here. We've got strength and we do have the um, the three of cups. There we go. It's a reunion, my friend. I feel like you're reuniting with the empress. Somebody who you are the emperor. This is your counterpart. Somebody, I feel like you had to heal or learn or get over this conflict and defeat, get over the emotional withdrawal. And I feel like you're bigger, faster, better, stronger this month, Cancer, feminine or masculine. Um, pick your side, right? We have them both here. I feel like you now are, are ready to tackle this. You're ready to tackle the silence that you've had with the Empress. And this tells me here that there is this is the moment of alchemy. I feel it comes at the end of the month. Around the end of the month uh, is the moment of alchemy. You get balance. It's time. The universe is telling you it's time to open your heart. Um, open your heart. I'll make you love me. It's like you want, um, if you just turn the key, I'll make you love me. If you just turn the key. I feel like you you need to take a chance to put the key in and open your heart and let someone love you. That's what I think. We do have the strength card. I feel like even though it's the moment of alchemy, you're going to do your best to hold back from this, but I don't think you can fight the universe, to be honest. And I feel like there is going to be some sort of a three of cups reunion here. I feel like you do want to grow with somebody here, right? We came up with growth on the bottom of the deck and it does say, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Well, this person will have you expanding your consciousness and your awareness for sure we do have the um the spiritual union and i think we should talk about that because i feel like the spiritual union is between emperor and empress um tell me about this please you're gonna have to make some decisions this month i feel that concern a spiritual union tell me about what's going on here someone you feel connected to in in a spiritual or emotional um yeah, a spiritual way here. This is somebody that you have had heartbreak with or disagreements possibly. We do have the Six of Cups, but this person is someone you've not been able to stop thinking about. Um, we do have the Knight of Swords. I do think you're charging in on the Empress. I do feel like you do want to have this reunion. It feels like you've got a lot of history with somebody here. Something happened and there was heartbreak or disappointment in this spiritual union, but I don't think it's over. I want to say that you needed this time 
to figure out what it is you wanted for yourself and what you wanted for yourself is growth and you are going to have amazing growth in the month of april it's just going to take getting out of this hanged man energy i think you really just needed to see it from another perspective rather than from your own and the only way you could do that is by getting out of this hard energy and becoming the emperor so you could survey things from the top of the castle right and see everything from the top down so i think that you are getting over some sort of an ending here with this empress it feels like there was a hard ending but it feels like now you see it from the other person's perspective and now you want to talk about it i think you're about to declare your feelings to someone here that's what it feels like here with the the uh king of cups and the king of swords somebody is about to admit or declare their feelings i'm gonna go for now thank you so much for coming here and watching cancer i do appreciate you and i'll be back because of course i'm always back love you guys Bye bye